All right. Welcome, everybody. It is 6.30 on the 11th. Um, I hereby call to order this regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. Our first order of business will be to approve the minutes of August 28th. I motion we approve the minutes of August 28th. Second. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three nothing. All righty. New business. First up, we have electrical permit fee schedule. You want to give us a little background on that, Jeff, and then we'll... Sure. Um, it's been a number of years since we've um, updated our fee schedule, at least four years. We haven't done it since I've been here. I don't know when the last time um, they, they were changed. Um, so we have a, a new electrical inspector, and he uh, looked around at various towns um, and was looking at the, the types of permits he was doing and um, came up with a, an amended schedule um, based on sort of the, the type of work that he saw versus some of the stuff that we had um, previously. So I don't know, Bill, if you, can you hear us? Yes. Okay. So I didn't know if you wanted to add anything. Um, not at this point. Um, has everybody looked over the um, changes? Yep. We've had those for uh, at least a week now. Um, is there any questions for for Bill? I'm oh, fine. Crystal, do you have anything that you want to ask? No. No, I'm good. Sorry, it was. Uh, it's been seven years. It's 2016. 2016. It's the last time they were revised. Yeah, they they look reasonable um, for how long it's been and what they're going up by and. Given that they're comparable to other towns in the area, I feel comfortable moving forward with those. Was there always a reinspection fee, or was that? Yes. There was. Okay. Yeah. Right, do you need a vote from us on accepting those? Yes, please. All right. I motion we accept the new fees as presented in the document for. Town of Sunderland, electrical inspector, please schedule. Second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? Not hearing any discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. All right, Bill, I will send this over to Tom so that he can update the website for the online permitting and stuff. Great. Thank you. Thank you. When do Thank these go into effect? Um, they technically are effective. Now, so, okay. but um, when the website gets updated, that okay. will start charging. Okay. Fair enough. Wonderful. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Okay. All right. Next up is town office room rental discussion. Yes. So, um, despite the increase in COVID cases <laughs> that have been happening recently, um, the, the building is open and we had our first request to rent a room since I've gotten here. Um, the world has changed, I think. Uh, and so I, you know, we had a room rental policy, I think it was $25, which I think was based on, hey, we wanna make the room available at, at a fairly low cost so that it's accessible to people. Um, now that if there's an exposure, we might need to clean the whole room. Um, we have equipment in the room that could get damaged if there are other groups. I just, um, before we started letting people back in the building, I thought it would be good to review the policy, see if there were any changes that we wanted to make, um, or I guess endorse it if you're happy with it. Okay. So the policy currently is anyone can apply and it's $25. It's seventy-five dollars uh, key deposit, okay. so that they can come in, and then twenty-five dollars. Uh, yeah. And the okay. key deposit goes back when they return the key. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And okay. it's this room. Um, yes, I believe that previously, what's now the FCAT Studio was leasable, um, but this is the only room that's available, I think, for meetings. Is there anything like this at the library or the school? The school has the library and the gym that can be used for meetings. So the library, the people rent those. Is I don't think so. The library has a community room that can be rented. Can be rented. Okay. Um, but I think that that's 
too small. A little bit more expensive. Oh, more uh, expensive, okay. I believe, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Is there a time period or hours that the room rental, I'm trying to look through this and I don't see I don't that. believe so, and I think that's why we did the um, key deposit so that we didn't have to be present town staff to let people in and you know, yeah if they were doing it on you know during off hours so we would be giving them a key access to the alarm mm -hmm. so if you'd like i could um I could see what other towns do, that, that would be and if they've updated their policies or just gone back to what they were doing previously or stopped renting rooms altogether. Um, but I, I just wanted when to... When is the request for? I don't know. It's not like within the next couple of weeks or anything. I don't believe so. Okay, okay. Well, we, we meet next week too, yeah. Yeah, if you can find that out for us, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. We're sure this is the only room that it could happen in here. In this building? Okay, yeah. There's no doubt. Is it a downstairs? Could you rent that common room? I mean, we used to have meetings out there and stuff. The one downstairs? They could. Yeah. Um, they could rent the common room. And then, yeah, um, you know, Just the common area. Yeah, because we have even equipment and stuff in here, and, yeah, and it's a little more, a little trickier in here. And the more you move something, the more you subject it to possible damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would feel com more comfortable having them be in a part of the, the of the building where we already expect the public to have unfettered access, at least during business Pretty hours. Much, yeah, yeah. Whereas these rooms are often behind locked doors because they have sensitive equipment in them, and you know all the stuff in here and the flags and you know the, the FCAT equipment and whatnot um, I would probably feel more comfortable with that also you know looks like Cynthia has a question Cynthia Cindy yes hi um, we usually only rent it for civic type of groups this is a local um, HOA that has their yearly meeting they're looking to do that the first of October first week of October. Um, we have changed the alarm code every time somebody is given it uh, when they rent a room. We used to use this conference room and the uh, dance room, which is now being used by FCAT. The problem with renting downstairs is there's no more tables or chairs there. Right. And so people tend to find them, but then they leave them. <laughs> so that's the only thing with that whole common space. Um, that's what used to happen yeah. prior to COVID. And there was a conference table there. The group that's looking to come in is about 40 people. Hmm. They have rented in the past, but again, you know, it's got to be the same rules for everyone, I would think. Hmm. Thank you for that context. That helps a lot. Sure. All right, well, yeah, find out the comps in the other areas, other towns in the area, so we have an idea of what their policies are. Um, you know, I think it would make sense to make a policy that's similar to the towns in the area. Um, and yeah, we'll discuss it again next week. Okay. Great. All right, thank you again, Cindy. Um, all right, next up is the Award Village Center Visioning Contract. Yes, so the background is uh, several months ago, the village center committee asked for some ARPA funds to do a visioning project. Um, we did a request for qualifications and we had responses from two organizations, um, BHB and Stantec. And the visioning exercise is really to look at the area surrounding the intersection of 116 and 47. Um, you know, going both north, south, east, west, a ways, and how to make that part of town feel more like a village center. Mm -hmm. And 
you know, what, what can we do to the intersection? What can we do to the approaches to the intersection? Um, do we want to do zoning changes to increase density or not? those types of things? Um, and so the idea is to get public input and really understand what the impact of different layouts of the intersection would be uh, on town. Um, and so after discussing it with the committee, um, I think that there was a feeling that Stantec, who had been involved in the um, local, excuse me, local rapid recovery plan as a subject matter expert, had some familiarity with Sunderland. I think one of their engineers commutes through Sunderland, so I was very familiar with that stretch. Um, and so uh, ultimately the committee wanted to recommend that the contract be awarded to Stantac. We know what the, the bid numbers were on those two, or? So the, the way that it worked, we didn't, it, it wasn't a cost-based uh, determination. Okay. So we said that there was 40,000 available in the budget and okay. um, so we have a scope of work based on that budget. Okay, so, so effectively at this point, there, there's no monetary differentiation between the two. It, it's, right. Here's the money we have, what can you do for us for that money? Okay. Um, and the, you said, could the committee's happier with that one, so. Yeah, Dan, I don't know yeah. if you want to add Yeah, anything. yeah no, no, that's fine. Okay. So I think you need another smoke, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, well, I will trust our subcommittee, that's why they <laughs> exist in the first place. Um, any discussion? No. All right. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to award the contract, the Village Center Visioning Contract to, what was her name again? Stantec. 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 Thank you. So moved. Right. Second. All right. We have a motion made and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. That is three nothing. Thank you, Jeff. All right. That is all the new business for today. Um, up next, we have old business, select board updates. Um, nothing from this past week, just a... I have a capital um, frontier capital planning committee meeting on this Wednesday to kick off the back to back to business <laughs> over the select board. Um, we are back to every every week for our um, meetings. So for those of you who like to tune in, um, we'll be back to every Monday. Um, and that's it for me, Crystal. Do you have anything for us? Yeah, a um, couple things out of um, South County EMS. Um, one, the release or the lease renewal is up um they're looking for a five-year extension on their current lease and the price is the same as it was previously and then secondly they're looking to form a hiring committee um you know people to go through the resumes you know narrow it down and then that would be presented to the Board of Oversight, and um, what we came up with was looking for one person from each town, um, and then Deerfield's town administrator and a member of South County EMS, which would be the acting director. Um, so what we still have next next Monday, we have to make the decision. Um, the member from Sunderland does not have to be select board, does not have to be personnel committee, although it can be, but if there's anyone in town who has an interest in serving on that committee, looking through those resumes, help weeding them down, somebody with EMS experience, with personnel experience, something like that, um, we will, you know, gladly take some names and present that um, at our next meeting, which is September 19th. You mentioned that the current acting director is going to be on that committee. Are, are they not applying for the position? The current, the acting director is not interested in this as a full-time permanent okay. job. Um, he's a young man and he just wants to spend more time on the ambulance versus, totally makes sense, yeah. uh, um, you know, uh, more of a full-time director job. He's doing a wonderful job. He's great at it, um, but it's it's not the move he wants to make at this time in his yep. life. Plenty of time for that if he's young. Yeah. Plenty of time for that. All right, uh, Dan, do you have any? No update this week. No update this week. Okay. Great. Um, that's it for us, Jeff.
ton of, ton of new trail updates? Yep, just a couple things um, to add on to what Crystal said. If the select board has any thoughts and wants me to reach out to any members that you think might be good, happy to do that. Just contact me individually. Um, so I spoke with the um, lawn care uh, contractor and he didn't think that the Riverside Cemetery was gonna need the full four mows. They do, um, it requires less frequent mowing. So um, I said, hey, the money is there if you need it, so use it. But since then, um, the restrooms are still not open. You might have seen Frontier has a game out there. So we have four porta potties. So I would like to ask that um, either additional sums or transfer the, the funds from mowing at the cemetery. I don't think, I think the restrooms are gonna be open by next week. So my hope is there are four Santa cans, 500 bucks for, for the week would be my hope. Um, but I. I was just hoping that, that we wouldn't have to use rec budget for that since it's not really yeah, it's not, not, the not their fault, but yeah. Sure. And you said there's excess money that would cover it in the mowing or? Yeah, I, the, I don't think we're gonna use the thousand dollars in mowing for the Riverside Cemetery, okay. so. Um, I, I, I think I'd feel better about awarding new monies for that so that if the, the, the mo they do need mowing there. The money's already sitting there. You can always get it back at the end of the yeah. you know at the end of the season in order to have to have just not have it be used. Yeah. But I'd hate to have to have the, us come back two weeks from now to so award another chunk of money back to the mowing because we took the money from the mowing for the. Yeah. I think it just be. Well, the cleaner. way the weather is, who knows? It could be <laughs> sunny and seventy in December yes. and we're still mowing, yeah. right? Yes. yes. Um, but yeah, I would I would certainly entertain a motion mm -hmm. to approve, let's say, up to six hundred, just to give a little bit of wiggle room. Does that work for you guys? Sure. Yeah, I motion we um, appropriate up to six hundred dollars of ARPA funds for the Extra porta potties that are out for the ball fields until the bathrooms get open. Opened. Thank you. Uh, second. All right, we have a motion made and seconded. Any further discussion? Not hearing any discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Thank you. Yep. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to mention is there the application for complete streets project is due in the beginning of October. Um, and so I was hoping to talk about that next week and I just wanted to preview that so you all could think about if you wanted to apply and where um, some of the discussions that I've had are, you know, the ARPA funds that did the survey of Plum Tree for a sidewalk along Plum Tree would be one. Um, the sidewalks along Swampfield Drive leading into the elementary school could be um, could use some maintenance. Those were probably the two top priorities that I've heard, but um, I guess I wanted to present it. The application process doesn't seem too onerous. I think the hardest part would be getting um, a budget in time for that, but I, I guess I wanted to raise it just to, to present it and get your feedback um, hopefully next week, and then we'd have about two weeks to apply. Yeah, so just question about the sidewalk going into the elementary school. Is it like large amounts of repairs that are needed there? Is it, or is it a substantial amount? Just because in my head, my first thought, and again, you know, we can make it a bigger discussion, but We've got to find a way to maintain what we have before we go and start adding more sidewalks, right? And if that is a substantial amount of money, you know, needed to renovate those, I'd hate to think about, you know, going and putting in another whole set of sidewalks that we've got to maintain when we're not able to even maintain the sidewalk going into the school. Could you talk to George and get an estimate of how much per thousand feet or something like that it is usually to maintain those? Just yeah. so we have a general idea. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't have to be. So this would be nice. just this would be basically a main. Uh, it wouldn't be a main. It'd be a replacement job, right? I mean, yeah. We put in something new. 
we could ask for a concrete sidewalk all the way through there that lasts a lot longer. Um, uh, you know, a couple things like that. But then you, you get into, I don't know if the, I haven't looked at it. I'm sure it's a bituminous curb with a bituminous sidewalk. So you could get into putting a new curb. And I don't know when that road's getting redone or if it's getting redone, but you always want to get the sidewalk on the curb in before you come back a year or two later and, and, and do the final pay for the, new, for the new drive. But I don't know where that is on our schedule. But just yeah. a couple things to think about. I mean, I know that I know that George has been talking about paving. I believe that lot needs to be paved that, that, at, at some point, and I know the library lot was on his list as well. Oh, the lot. But I don't know about the, the drive. The drive. Okay. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's there's no bike route. I mean, the nice thing about Swampfield Drive is we own the property on both sides, yeah. and we can make that. We can do a wide. We can do a nice multi. Um, so yeah. so yeah, if you can yeah. go to yeah. George and, and ask him for a general idea of what, what it costs to maintain, um, but also, you know, obviously the the final decision on to do what to do this rests with us. But he's probably the best person to ask sure. where would our money be best spent, where would where would these funds be best spent in town, because he's going to be able to say, oh yeah, we should ask for money for this or that or whatever, and we can take those, you know. An advisement and still yeah. make a decision we want to make, yeah. but I think it would be good to get that from him because it, yeah. he's the person you have to ask. Yeah, I think the school one is the one he's been talking about for a while um, as his priority, and then I don't know if the the sidewalks around the school count, but I know that the um, the school's been asking to have those redone those too. I think that's and that's all goal, that's so. all covered on the complete streets, right? Uh, yeah. So I and mean, and to your point, Crystal, we have. We can apply up to half a million dollars. Yes, so yes. every four years, I think it refreshes, right. and we're at our clean slate. And so, we have yeah. what's when did we do the last one? That was a few years ago. Right? Yeah, uh, twenty nineteen. Do you know what the dollar amount we asked for that time was? Uh, we got three hundred and thirty nine, yeah. or three seventy two. So that, that feels like currently there is some wiggle room then in terms of how much of the possible grant we're using so if we did add some more roads and had to ask for more money for maintenance sort of redoing all those roads in these subsequent then it's not like we're already at 500 yeah. and we're going to be adding on stuff that we don't have that extra grant money to be able to ask for so and not saying that we have to like let's go max that out and yeah. get, you know get up to half a million yeah. but just to keep in mind that we do have that extra you know we're not at capacity yet for that yeah. Um, so yeah if you can send over whatever George says um, and also as much information as you have about what qualifies and whatnot. Um, yeah. We'll look at that and we can discuss that at the next meeting also. I'd love, I'd love to hear if he thinks a shared use path would fit in there or would it not fit. Okay. Um, and actually something that just struck me and I don't know, Dan, yeah. could we go in with Deerfield on a complete streets for the bridge and... I don't think they'd let you do it on a DOT. Okay. That's a DOT road. I figured if they didn't have to pay, maybe they <laughs> yeah, yeah, would. Yeah, yeah, I'd love, I'd love it. I'd love it. You find out if we can apply for complete streets on a DOT road, I'm, I'm all for it. <laughs> but I don't think I think we excluded yeah. 116 when we did the last one. Um, that's all I had. All right. Anything else from everybody before we call it? Wonderful. All right. At this time, I will entertain a motion to. What's the word looking for? Motion to adjourn. Adjourn, adjourn. that's the word looking for. I second it. Thank you. Uh, we have a motion made and seconded to adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Three nothing. Uh, take us out at 653. Thank you.